quite a few thoughts and opinions, qualified people at that, the pros and cons of one bigger battery and the pros and cons of having two smaller batteries. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. Um, some people swear by one, some people swear by another. So we'll start off with the advantages of these and then we'll go through the disadvantages. G'day, how are you there? Diesel here from Getting Around Isles Camper Trailer Travelling. Thank you for clicking on the video today and thank you for checking us out. Today's video is a little bit different. First thing is, I'm going to tell you about these batteries I got. This one here is the battery that I've been using here in the camper trailer for the last eight months and I've had some some different experiences with this which I've covered in a previous video. I'll add that in the description if you want to check it out. I've also got these two batteries here which are new from Lee Time. These are smart batteries so a little bit different, a bit more technology in them. But then I want to cover off some things with you that I've really just sort of started to think about a bit more seriously and I'm fairly sure it's something many of you have considered or wondered and that is, is it better to have one bigger higher capacity battery or two smaller capacity batteries hang around we'll check it out a little while ago lead time did reach out to me and ask if i'd be interested in checking out these batteries here so these are group 24 100 amp hour smart batteries with bluetooth so there's a bit more technology in this one first these ones and if you weren't aware before this i did have 200 amp hour batteries in there before which were lithium and i chose to go to um, a bigger 230 amp hour battery and i guess once i get into this i'll share with you the reasons for that the reality is with a bit more technology in these there's there's a bit more to consider and while initially i wasn't interested in doing the video and checking these ones out here i chose to, to try and fit it in for the for you essentially because you've always seen me talk about these things and you've never really seen me talk about these but the reality is something like this versus some of like this in a lot of situations could be a better idea for you or it could be a better option and after i've gone through these i'm going to go through everything i could find on and i've got a different uh quite a few thoughts and opinions from people uh, qualified people at that regarding the pros and cons of one bigger battery and the pros and cons of having two smaller batteries and at the end of it I'll give you my thoughts on what I think and I also am keen to hear from you in the comments because there's a lot of you that know much more about me much more about these than I do let us know in the comments what you've found what you've experienced because I'm doing this for people looking at getting batteries or in a situation where they may be starting out, they may be in this exact same situation wondering which way to bloody go. So let's all jump together on that and try and help these people out. And and um, again, I'll try and answer any questions I can in the comments. But again, if you're qualified and you think you can help people out, yeah, please jump in there and, and um, you know, let people know. Now, before I forget as well, lead time do have a Black Friday sale going. And if you're looking to get... Um, from what I've seen, a good quality battery at a bloody good price. It's a time now to bloody do it. First up here, we've got the 230 amp hour battery, which is one we've been using the camper trailer since, uh, what I put it in March, before we did the trip across the Nullarbor. We did have some problems out there. There weren't problems with the battery, but I did accidentally trip the system, um, metal on metal, shut this thing down, the BMS, the BMS sorry, did its trick and put, um, did its job and protected the battery. Turned out I had a heap of charger problems, but it was something I was trying to diagnose in the middle of bloody nowhere. Uh, we recently have done a trip to Steep Point as well. So over all the kilometers we've done and the off-grid camping we've done, this one here has been really bloody good for us. So and while I'm stating the obvious um, to a lot of people, but for if those of you who, who don't know, sorry, these are lithium batteries, okay, which means essentially they have a, a usable capacity um, the length of the battery and this one here I have fully discharged um, the second time I tried to do it because I wanted to see what happened so this one here you got 230 usable amp hours um, AGMs for example a lot of people will tell you don't go past 50% um, of usage so with that in mind you don't get the same sort of usable capacity that you do 
These are also much lighter than AGM batteries as well. Energy this one here is 2,944 watt hours. BMS or the battery management system on this one here is rated at 200 amps. It has a max continuous charge and discharge current of 200 amps and has a max continuous output power of 2,560 watts. That was the reason I went for this one initially because we use an air fryer um, out and about which is anywhere from 2,000 to 2,300 watts here so this one here can handle that sort of stuff and the life cycle is 4,000 cycles at 100% DOD which is depth of discharge which means you can run this one down from fully charged to fully flat 4,000 times if you're charging it from quarter from half or whatever you can do the math on that that equals a long bloody time it's going to live weight wise I'll chuck on the on the screen I just can't remember off the top of my head now these ones here are lead times Newer batteries, so they're smart batteries. So got a bit of technology in these, in these ones. This one here doesn't have it. So this one here, basically on the top here, there's a QR code um, that you scan in. You um, download an app, install, and on that app, you can see everything that's going on with this one here. You can monitor the usage of the battery, how much it's got left, all that sort of stuff, which effectively means you don't need a battery monitor. This one here you do, and I've got one, but this one here you don't. So if this is something you're looking to consider, that's something less that you have to worry about, which is bloody handy. You just gotta have your phone ready uh, to be able to do that. And being a group 24 means it's obviously significantly smaller. I'll just chuck up a shot on the screen here now of the size of these two compared to this one. So this one here was just marginally higher, as you can see there and it was just marginally longer. And the weight, I'll chuck up on the screen because I can't remember that one either. Now the energy in these ones here is 1280 watt hours. Like this one here, it's rated 4,000 cycles at 100% depth of discharge. So like this one here, it's made to be used for full cycles and the rating is off full cycles. The rating isn't off 80% depth of discharge or 60% that sort of stuff. It's a 400% rating. The BMS in this one here is rated at 100 amps. Quickly, if you weren't aware what a BMS or a battery management system is, it does a couple of things, but in my experience, the most important one is there to protect the battery. Okay, so with this one here, when I um, shorten it out, the BMS shut down the battery and protect the battery. And essentially the, B, the job of the BMS is to make sure this thing is running efficiently, correctly, and it's there to make sure this thing is protected against any sort of weird things that are going on in order to preserve its life. This one here is a max continuous and discharge current of 100 amps and a max continuous output power of 1280. Do you remember before this one was 2560? These two here at 100 amps each adds up to the same in this regards to, to what it can use. Why does that matter? It'll make more sense once I tell you some things in a moment. And the case in these is what they call ABS, which is flame retardant plastic. The protection class regarding water is IP65. And I think another thing to consider is temperature protection. Speaking from experience, when we had AGMs in here and it got hot um, up the north of WA, where we, um, where were we? At Pena Bay, I think it was. It got around 35 to 40. It was really hot up there. The AGM batteries just shut down, they wouldn't provide charge because it's too hot. Whereas these things here are designed to be able to work in cold temperatures and hot temperatures as well. So whether you're looking to run at zero degrees or up to 50 degrees, these things do will charge that sort of weather. So I got some notes here I'm going to read off regarding is one bigger capacity battery better than two smaller capacity batteries? I believe a lot of people will have different opinions different opinions, sorry, based off the experiences that they've had. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. And um, Some people swear by one, some people swear by another. But all I'm gonna do is give you what I could actually find on the Google. I also spoke to some people, some qualified people and got some information as well, which is what I'm gonna share with you. And so we'll start off with the advantages of these and then we'll go through the disadvantages. Now the advantage of Having two small batteries is, if one fails, you've got another one to keep providing power, which means, or it's more likely to give you an outcome where you haven't lost all power to your system and you've still got one there still providing something to, to keep you going. So another one here is, two batteries in parallel can accept a higher charging current which allows 
for faster charging providing you have a big enough charger but again remember that's providing you have a big enough charger to actually provide the extra charge to them speaking from experience smaller batteries gives you more flexibility down in here where I had the two smaller batteries so I had one going this way and one going that way depending what type of setup you've got and, and where you're looking to put things maybe that's something you need another advantage of two smaller batteries each battery is discharged less deeply which means you cut the depth of discharge which means you can increase the life expectancy of the battery it's not working so hard so therefore it's less strain on the battery in theory it should make it last longer okay advantages of the one bigger battery now the first advantage of a single larger battery is less complexity when you're setting it up or when you're trying to wire it up one battery means you meet you need less wires less lugs it's going to mean less work probably which essentially should mean the system's cheaper and because there's less cabling and because there's less connections and there's less cabling there's less resistance which means this should be more efficient another advantage is because there's less wiring there's less cabling there's less chance of faults or things going wrong in your system there's less chance of loose wires or something coming loose or that sort of stuff which means there's less chance for for things to go wrong essentially i guess it's probably situational but there's a lot of opinions that say that one bigger battery is cheaper than two smaller batteries yeah i don't know about that it depends what you use isn't it okay there are all the advantages i could think of or i could find or information i could get now we're on to the disadvantages of the two smaller batteries and i guess i just covered off before two batteries is more than one right which means you need extra cabling you need extra lugs there's more work to do there's more to consider there's definitely less um sorry there's definitely more wiring to do but there's definitely going to be more work to do and more to more to run and there may be more fuses you know you need as well and because there's more going on there's more cabling there's more lugs all that sort of stuff there as well there's a higher chance of something going wrong um you know whether it's lugs cables or something coming loose or if you're driving corrugations things might wobble another disadvantage of two smaller batteries is off the back of what i was just saying before because of all that going on potentially they're going to be less efficient each connection adds resistance which can decrease overall efficiency of the system now this was an experience shared by a few people and another disadvantage of two smaller batteries and I've had a few people say this there's potential for imbalance batteries can become unbalanced over time because one is discharged more than the other and i guess it's contrary to oh experiences i guess was i uh was reading about someone saying if one battery dies and you don't know about it that might lead to the other one dying with it you know it might be dragged down because of the problem that it's having now back on this side here disadvantage of one bigger battery a single larger battery may be more difficult to fit in somewhere i definitely found that to be to be the case to be honest with you i had the two smaller batteries and i had the offer to try a bigger battery there was limitations to regards to what size battery i could fit in the compartment that i have here this was the only one that i could find that would fit i checked a lot of different brands now the first disadvantage of a single bigger battery when i had two smaller batteries i wasn't using lead time back then i was using another brand when i was looking at going bigger because i wanted to go more than 200 amps i want to see what other options there there was around because i've got a another bigger battery in my car i thought well why not go another bigger battery in the camper but it was hard to find one that would fit in the compartment size that i had here you know depending on what you have it may be sort of designed to fit a certain size battery but fortunately the lead time one here while it's a bigger capacity you know an extra 30 amp hours size wise like i showed you before wasn't that much bigger therefore i could fit it in but all the other brands i looked at i couldn't actually fit anything in another disadvantage of a single bigger battery there's a higher load on one battery all power is drawn from a single power source 
which can lead to a greater strain on the battery. Obviously, because there's more strain, that may decrease the lifespan of the battery because there's more stress, it's working harder. Because these ones here aren't working so hard, maybe this one here will last longer than these ones. And one very clear disadvantage of one bigger battery, and the last disadvantage of a bigger single battery that I could find was, and it's definitely something I've had to think about and I've been reminded about, if this thing dies, it's all over. All the power to the camper trailer here or the car is gone. There's nothing else that you can, you know, fall back on essentially. So if you go bigger, you're all in. So there are experiences that I've come across, um, I've been told about. Some people swear by it and some people will argue it. But for me, my opinion is consider all that, make the best decision for you. I know it's a pretty neutral thing to do, but in the day, like it doesn't, really matter what you do just make a bloody decision that's good for you uh, that works for you and one that you're going to be happy with because power to your system is pretty bloody important it's a you know definitely one you want to get right that's for sure now if you haven't already subscribe to our channel get behind us really really would love your support because of your support companies like lead time want to give us some batteries to look at why did i take these there's a project that I'm trying to work on, trying to get together. We'll see. I'm uh, pretty keen to make it work. That's probably something I'll show with you in some time. But again, if you're looking for a, a cheap, good quality battery that can put up with a bit of, you know what, um, as I found with this one here, now's the time to grab yourself a bargain. Use a discount code. That's all I got. I'm Deeds of Getting Around Oz. Camper Trailer Traveling. We'll catch you in the next one. Hooray.